What's going on guys? Welcome back to your Lake Fork Guide right here. You know where we are. Legendary Lake Fork for our third top five bait by category, no sponsor affiliation video. Today, what are we breaking down today? Today, we're going to break down the top five best shallow crankbaits. Today we're breaking down the top five shallow crankbaits that I've ever thrown. And this is the beautiful thing about this series we're doing now, man. There's no, like we said, no sponsor affiliation, no sponsor obligation of any kind. And I'm getting to share some baits with you guys that I've never really talked about before. But I guarantee you guys owning these baits, you're gonna have confidence, or you should have confidence, that you've got the best baits on the market, at least in my opinion they are, and these baits should help you get more bites. And that's what we've always been about. And I kind of need to apologize to you guys over the years for not being able to disclose some of these top baits, but you start getting sponsorship agreements and there's contractual obligations to feature their baits over other baits. And the reality is you, you sign with a sponsor because you like their product, you believe in their product, but it doesn't mean there's not other stuff that's really good out there and sometimes even better. What? He's right there. Uh oh, little bitty turtle. we got distracted by a turtle folks at home. Okay. All right, got, got a little off track there guys, but that's all good. So shallow crankbaits, anyways, the best part about this series is that I get to share with you guys my best baits. Now, many of you know that, that me and Sixth Sense have split ways and that that departure was not all that amicable, if I'm being honest about it. I, I was not happy about it at all, but I'm not gonna let that put any bias in this. I'm never gonna shy away from telling you guys what baits of theirs are good just because I didn't like the way things ended between us, okay? And, and today we're gonna start off with one of their baits. I wanna talk to you guys about maybe my favorite. I don't normally, when I give you my top five, I don't put them in order per se, but this one probably is my favorite of all the shallow crank baits. You've heard me talk about it for years on the channel. It's gonna be the Sixth Sense Movement ADX. Now, the only downfall of this bait, it doesn't get very deep. It only goes about one to two foot deep, realistically, in the water column. But this is, hands down, without a doubt, the best deflecting crankbait I've ever put in my hands. If you look from the front of the bait, the bill is wider than the body. I think that has a lot to do with its deflection qualities, but it bangs around over anything. I can reel it through brush tops. I can reel it through rock. I can reel it. I mean, it just doesn't get hung up. It bangs and bounces, and it swings so hard and vibrates so hard that when it hits something hard, the deflection that you get is so drastic and violent it causes big reaction bites from big fish so great crank crankbait is going to come with great paint jobs from six cents it's going to come with great hooks you're going to have 18,000 colors to pick from as you see here uh, but a great bait in the movement adx now the next bait is going to be hands down the best bait in the four and five foot type of categories this is a bait that i don't hear anybody ever really talk about we have mentioned it a couple times on a live stream here or there but the bait that i'm talking about is going to be the osp blitz max this crankbait is insanely good it gets bit just like nothing else gets bit it has a coffin shaped bill uh, the paint jobs aren't my favorite on this but it doesn't really matter <laughs> this crankbait is so good it doesn't need great paint jobs it does come with good quality hooks it is very expensive coming in around 20 21 22 dollars a piece per crankbait that's extremely expensive for a square build crankbait it's worth it this bait gets bit it's the best one in my opinion that gets down deeper than one to two foot i'd put the movement adx against up up with it except the movement adx can't get down to that three four five foot depth zone uh, for that depth zone this is hands down the best bait on earth in my opinion now moving on to a bait that we've never mentioned on the channel but i've been using since long before i was a guide it is one of my favorites it is again a very shallow bait it's about a one foot diver maybe one and a half foot on the right setup right line but the man's baby one minus this is a bait that has been around for a long long time and i have no idea why it's not a bigger deal in the bass fishing market than what it is it looks like a little angry bumblebee under the water just wandering around it's got a big fat short it's like a short body but it's like a real fat round body it's got a little tiny bill on it and it causes it to have this crazy erratic action 
and I cannot begin to tell you how many thousands of fish that I've caught on a man's baby one minus over the years. A buddy of mine, Mr. Sonny Kopeck, who used to live here, now lives down in Houston, but years ago, long before I was guiding, turned me on to this baby one minus deal, uh, and it has been a staple in my boat ever since. All right, next bait on the list is going to be one that's a little odd, a little different. Let's talk about the Strike King Hybrid Hunter. Uh, this is an L-shaped bill. And we got to talk about this one for a second because this bait has a pretty unique story. So uh, Todd Castledon is designing baits for Strike King now. Back in the day when Todd Castledon was winning all these tournaments, a lot of his tournament wins down there on Rayburn and Toledo, which he was kind of legendary for, how many that him and his partner Russell Cecil won, a lot of them came on a, on a, uh, a, a bait called a Strike Pro Bubba was the name of the bait. Um, and Todd actually worked with Sixth Sense for a little while and designed the Swank 77X, but I don't think he was ever 100% happy with the way that design came out. And now Todd works for Strike King, and he kind of he is designing the baits for them. He actually works for them as an employee designing baits, and he's the one that designed this Strike Pro Bubba with this L-shaped bill. Well, he designed the Strike Pro, but he designed the Strike King Hybrid Hunter, which is a bait derived from. The Strike Pro Bubba, which he used to fish and love so much, but Strike Pro went out of business many years ago now. So, uh, Strike King Hybrid Hunter, great bait. That L-shaped bill is very unique. This is a grass square bill, is what it is. It, it defies physics and logic to me on how this thing, with all those treble hooks and that round body and that bill, you'd think all that would catch grass, but it defies the common sense logic when you throw that thing into some standing hydrilla or coontail, it reels right through 90% of it. It's unbelievable how it comes through the grass. Um, you know, we could go either way with the six cent swank or the Strike King, Strike King Hybrid Hunter. To be honest with you, my decision on picking the Strike King Hybrid Hunter is, that's Todd Castledine's latest creation of it. I know he's working for Strike King on their payroll designing baits. That makes me have to believe that he designed this one even better than the last one. So that's why I'm giving the nod to the Strike King Hybrid Hunter when it comes to those L-shaped bills that are designed to reel through grass. And last but certainly not least, it's gonna be just a standard square bill, kind of. I'm gonna go ahead and give the nod at number five to the Mini Mag 3.8 square bill from Six Cents Fishing. Hey, it's gonna be a bigger version of your old traditional square bill. It's gonna come with the great Six Cents paint jobs, great Six Cents hooks. Um, this is a bait that I have a ton of confidence on and fishing in the south, we got big bait and we got big bass. And a lot of times when I'm fishing a square bill, I like to mimic that. And that 3.8 does a great job of that. It's a bait that catches a lot of fish on our shad spawn deal, on the, on the gizzard, shot, gizzard shad deal, on all of our shallow points out here. Uh, we catch a lot of big bass that time of year on that 3.8 bait. I think it's the perfect size. It's about as big as I want a square bill to be. I really don't want it any bigger than that, but I like to push the envelope on getting it as big as I would like to. That crankbait does a great job as that. At that, what I will say is there is a slew of your standard 1.5, 2 points, like a Strike King 1.5, Strike King 2.5, a 6 cents Crush 50 or a 6 cents Crush 100. Um, all of these baits are basically the same to me. You've got the Rick Clun series, I think Lucky Craft makes his, RC whatever, RC this. A lot of these square bills, even the H2O Express brand square bills, are all going to work very similarly. They're all going to catch pretty much the same fish. Pick the ones that you like the paint jobs on. Pick the ones that you like the price point on. Pick the ones that you like the hooks on if you don't like changing out hooks. But when it comes to square bills, we'll put them in an audible mention at six, just your regular standard square bill in the 1.5 and 2.5 size categories. Those should be in there. The only reason I didn't put those in there is because it would be hard to pick one. They are all so similar and so close to the same, it would be very challenging, very difficult for me to eliminate it down to just one. But in our top five, we got the 3.8 Mini Mag, we've got the OSP Blitz Max, we've got the Movement 80X, we've got the Hybrid Hunter, and we've got the Man's Baby One Minus. Hey guys, remember every bait that we're talking about today, as you've seen in the screenshots, you can find it at TackleWarehouse.com, which is of course linked below in the description. It's a great place to go buy baits. They give you free shipping once you reach a certain price point threshold, which I think is only like 50 bucks. If you're buying crank baits, you're gonna get there in a hurry, especially if you buy them the way I do. <laughs> so don't worry about that, you'll get free shipping. But it's just a great place. Just about any bait you could ever wanna find that's viable in the bass fishing world, they carry it pretty much at Tackle Warehouse. It's a great website. I've used it for years and years, long before I was guiding, so I highly recommend that. And it is linked below, like I said,
I think that's it. Let me know what y'all thought of today's video. Shallow cranking. Is there something in there that I should have put in there? Did I miss a shallow crankbait that should be in my top five? Maybe I don't know about it. You guys can help me out like I'm trying to help y'all out. We can all help each other, love our fellow man, and catch more and bigger fish. Because at the end of the day, that's the only thing we care about here at Your Lake Fort Guide. Can't thank you guys enough for watching. And we'll see you next time right here on Your Lake Fort Guide. It's good out there and sometimes even better. What? Right there. Uh oh. We got distracted by a turtle, folks at home. The princess is, is holding the camera as always these days, and we got distracted by a turtle for a second. That's okay. You know how it goes, huh? Did you see him? Yeah, I saw him. It's a turtle. You know how many turtles I see fishing Lake Fort? He's getting you know how many audience. you know how many turtles I see fishing Lake Fort? Every day? No, I would Over or under of turtles per day is at least two hundred. I'm completely off track. I have no idea what we're talking about anymore. Uh, Shallow crankbaits.